What's up guys, my name is Charlie Olin, here I'm part of the Mindball team, and today we're going to be showing you guys our new game called Mindball Play. Mindball Play is a physics-based racing game. It is easy to learn, but hard to master. There are two ways you can play this game, either multiplayer or single player. In multiplayer, you can play online, on LAN, or split screen. But today, we're going to be showing you guys the single player mode. In single player, you can customize your own games and add a bunch of bots and try out different things. But we're going to be showing you guys time trial. So if you click in here, as you can see, there are 12 different tracks to choose from. Today, we're going to be showing you guys laser control. On the right hand side, you can see the leaderboards. Here's where your name will show up if you place on the high score top 10 list. There's also a feature called ghost balls. You can add up to 10 different ghost balls, but we're only going to have one not to make it too cramped. As we head into the game, there's a 5 second delay before you can start playing. I'm going to start off by showing you guys the controls. On a keyboard, it's W for forward, S for backwards, A and D for turning. You can also jump using space, and you can spin the ball in a different rotation with E and Q. First off, we're going to show you guys the speed boost and that's just what it is, an increase in speed. It can help you along during the slow parts of the track, so try to hit those boosters with perfection. Next up, we got the rotation. So when you enter these tight curves, you wanna squeeze up against the edge and hit W and E at the same time, and slowly, you will increase your speed and eventually pass your opponents. As with most racing games, you wanna try and stay on track. If you fall off, however, not to worry, you just reset and then you can keep on racing. Next up, we got the oil slicks. These small puddles are placed out along the track. You want to try to avoid them, because otherwise it might get slippery. Next up, we got the lasers. You want to try to avoid these lasers, because they sting. If you, however, accidentally get hit by one, you are just reset, and then you just have to try again. And that's basically it. Eventually, everyone will cross the finish line. And here, you can compare your time with others. But that's it for this video. Make sure to go and check out our other video where we show you how you can play Mindball with a headband instead of a keyboard. Thank you for watching, and keep balling.